Okay, so just coming back to these microphones now, um, I just want to talk a little bit about polar patterns and um, sort of different situations where, where you might use different polar patterns. Most of the time when recording, like lead vocal or that kind of thing, um, you'll find that cardioid pretty much does the job. Um, some microphones have hypercardioid, which is obviously, um, it's got a much narrower, it's what's more directional, so it's going to have less, uh, more off-axis rejection from the room. Uh, but it means if you move off the microphone a little bit, um, you're going to lose the sounds or the body of the vocal. So I think maybe for like live situations and that kind of thing, um, they can work quite well if you've got a band playing in a room and you want to try and eliminate, you know, the guitar amps or the um, drum kit or whatever, you could put it on hypercardioid and it means it's a more directional microphone. But in the situation of recording a vocalist with no one else in the room, um, cardioid is pretty good, which means it's picking up the sound really just from out in front of the microphone. To show you the effect of off-axis rejection, I have an acoustic guitar and vocalist in the same room and will record the vocal with the mic set to Omni. Now to minimize the guitar spill, I have switched the mic to cardioid. Cause I'm not a love song and you're not glory. There'll be no happy end to the story. The other cool thing about uh, the cardioid is it has a um, a proximity effect. So it means that when you get closer onto the mic like this, there's more bass onto the mic. And the more you pull off, um, the sort of the thinner it gets and the less bass there is. So here is an example of someone singing into a mic set to cardioid at a distance of five inches. He climbs the mountain whilst we sit and dream. And both our heads are in the clouds, but above them he can scream. And now the same thing, but a foot away. He climbs the mountain whilst we sit and dream. And both our heads are in the clouds, but above them he can scream. Now, if you switch the polar pattern to omnidirectional, uh, which means it picks up the sound from all around, there is no proximity effect. So as you get closer, it doesn't necessarily get bassier. This is an example of someone singing into the same mic, set on Omni at a distance of five inches. He climbs the mountain whilst we sit and dream. And both our heads are in the clouds, but above them he can scream. And once more at one foot away. He climbs the mountain whilst we sit and dream. And both our heads are in the clouds, but above them he can scream. The disadvantage of, of having an omnidirectional microphone means that it's going to be picking up obviously everything around the room, and it might pick up the room sound. And if you've got a pretty ugly room sound or something that's not ideal, you're going to get more reverb into the microphone. So personally, I would go for um, cardioid over omnidirectional. Um, but that's just a preference. It would be different, how, however, if you had a, a group of vocalists. So you had like maybe three or four people singing into a microphone or a situation where you've got, you know, like kind of a gang vocalist thing doing shouts in a room. Omnidirectional would be perfect for that because you can flick it to omnidirectional. Um, people can stand all around the microphone and can all be captured from the one mic. So that's quite a cool thing to use that for. Another polar pattern would be the figure of eight, which means it's picking up um, from the front and the rear, um, which can be quite cool if you've got two vocalists singing into the same microphone, you can have one on each side. To show you the difference between figure of eight and cardioid, I have two people singing into a mic set to figure of eight, and then I will switch the mic to cardioid. When set to cardioid, you'll hear the female voice drop in volume. 
Cause I'm broken without you. I get frozen and go numb. Cause I'm broken without you. I get frozen and go numb. And also it has very good off-axis rejection. So from the sides, um, it's, it's very, you know, won't pick up much room at all. And here is an example of two people singing off-axis into a figure of eight mic. Cause I'm broken without you I get frozen and go numb